like a part of the family. It's like a, it's like a part of your household. Yeah, if I'm about on a Saturday morning, um, we like to go down to the sweet shop. It's about half a mile from here. I buy the paper. If he's been a good boy, he gets some Smarties or whatever, and then we walk back and, and I like to read the paper. It's just one of those. I remember doing it with my dad when I was a kid. I think you feel you feel a bit of comfort and you you, you feel like you can trust the paper to put the the, the, the right news across. I suppose I, I could sort of say like the son is a close friend because. You know, sometimes on a night if you're up and the kids are in, in bed and, you know, it's like having a friend. I enjoy reading The Times. I take a sense of pride in the, the information that they're furnishing me and what I can glean from that. Reading the paper distracts you um, and, you know, you kind of... It's just a nice relaxing thing to do, but you're still active. So after you've read it, you, you know, you're like, well, I have actually done something with my day. Yeah, it's like having your favourite, I don't know, sticking to Heinz, you know soups or you won't go to any other brand. It's like kind of not being by yourself, it kind of connects you with other things, you know, kind of like connects you with the rest of the world, what's going on, so even though you're by yourself you can kind of class it as you've got company if you've got a paper. It's like having a pet, you just think, oh, it's always there, it's cosy.